call yourself a free spirit, a wild thing, and you're terrified somebody's going to stick you in a cage. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make an entryway table, and honestly, I want to say this was anywhere from like $15, $20 max. Me, that's a really great deal just because I looked on Amazon, I looked on Ikea, and a lot of their entryway tables are, I guess the lowest priced is about $60, $70, $80. And I always like to think, can I make it for cheaper? And if I can, then usually I go that route, which is what I did. For this build, I pretty much just made the measurements custom to what I needed. Now, if you want this to be bigger or larger, then obviously you're gonna have different measurements than I did. However, if you make this exact same one, I'm gonna show you the measurements so that you really don't have to do any math because Sometimes that's the hardest part. Not the building, not uh, the putting together, the cutting, the math. The math part. All right, so this build is somewhat pretty easy. If you have all the pieces pre-cut, then you really just have to assemble it together. Let's just go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so I figured this would be a lot easier than having to explain it via any other way anyway. So these two, they have a depth of 11, so this is technically the top and the bottom part. So they were 11 inches and then 36 inches wide. Now, if you have a bigger or longer entryway, you can definitely always make it longer. And these three little pieces are pretty much the dividers that go inside of the drawers. And these two are the front or the faces of the drawers. And these four would be the legs and these two would be the connecting part at the top and bottom. Now, this is for the drawers. So this would be the backs of the drawers, four inches in height. Oh, I guess I should have put H, but anyway, four inches deep, and then the width is 15 and a half inches. These four are the sides of the drawers. So you need a total of four because you have two drawers and pretty much the same thing they are four deep and 10.5 in width and then this is the bottom or the base of the drawers they are 10.5 deep and then 15 and an eighth wide and they are a little bit smaller so that they are able to slide in and out and additionally of course you're going to need knobs or handles and then screws a brad nail gun or just plain old regular nails anyway these are the measurements that i came up with feel free to come up with your own if you do make it bigger but if you make the exact same one then these are the measurements that you need this is what your pieces should look like so you'll have the top two which is the top and bottom and these will be for the legs and this one is what you're actually going to make the drawers out of and these two are the front of the drawers. I started with the legs first simply because I thought this would be the easiest part and honestly it was. You're just going to get the long boards on the sides and the short ones in the middle. You can use a regular nail or screws but I'm actually going to be using my brad nail gun. Both of your legs should obviously look the same. Before I went and added some nails, I wanted to make sure it was elevated so that I could actually use the brad nail gun a little bit raised so that it wasn't on the floor. I used about five brad nails and I believe this was sturdy enough because I was not able to pull it apart. So I'm assuming if you use a nail, maybe use about five little ones or four just to ensure that it's actually very secure. Once you've attached the side to the top and bottom part, you're just going to add the other side of the leg. And this is how your first leg should look like. Pretty much a long rectangle. The next part that I did was attach the legs to the bottom of the entryway table. I used the brad nail gun, but I also went in with some screws just because I wanted it even more secure. And these, I believe, are about two and a half inches long. As you can see, 
it looks pretty good as is, just a simple entryway table, but I wanted mine to have drawers because I wanted to put all of my dog's harness and leashes in there just because we usually use these every single day. So that's why I wanted to add drawers, but you could honestly just leave it like this if this is how you like it. In this next step, I'm pretty much just figuring out the center of the board so that I can make lines and so that I know where my center pieces are going to be. I had this piece of scrap wood laying around, but I needed to make the face of the drawers out of this piece, so I had to figure out how to cut it in half and then so that it fits the right size too. As you can see, I now have two pieces and these are going to be the front of the drawers and I have to cut it horizontally and vertically just because they were a little bit too long. Next, I cut the three pieces that would be going into the middle part or the inside which are pretty much the drawer dividers. And this is what the front of the drawers will look like. Next, it was time to attach the sides or the dividers. And for this step, I used screws as well as the bread nail gun. And I left a little bit on the front just because that's where the front of the drawer will rest. Once the dividers were attached, it was then time to make the drawers so that they could fit in perfectly along this area. So for this piece, it's actually, I believe, particle board, which is super inexpensive. For this board, I think it was like $2 or something. You're gonna need two of them, but here I am measuring the insides or the sides of the drawers. You are going to need four just because they're going to be the sides of each drawer. Alrighty, so as you can see, I have a bottom, two sides, and one back part. The front are the pieces of wood that I cut earlier, but these are my measurements. As you can see, they are 15 and an eighth, and then for the other side, it is 10.5 inches. Now, all of these should be the same for both drawers. Next, it was simply time to assemble the drawer. And I started with the sides first, just because I found it to be easier. I did use the brad nail gun and only the brad nail gun, just because, like I said, this is particle board, so it doesn't need to be very, very sturdy. And the brad nail gun does a very good job at keeping them together. Okay, now that I'm watching this back, please do not put your fingers there, because if you miss, it's pretty much going to jab you in the finger, so don't do that. But this is how it should look like when you've attached the sides. And as far as the back part goes, you're pretty much just going to slide it in. But of course, you're going to use nails or a brad nail gun to ensure that it is secure. And once you've attached the back part, you're pretty much done. As you can see, it already is starting to look like a drawer. It's only missing the front. As previously mentioned, I left about an inch at the very front of the drawers and the side panels because this is where the front of the drawer is going to rest. So 
so that it's pretty much flush with the bottom. The next step was to attach the front to the already made drawer. Whenever you use nails or screws, you can always go back and add some wood filler to pretty much erase them or conceal them and look how good this drawer looks guys. Once both drawers were already assembled, it was then time to add the tabletop. And this was fairly easy because all I really needed to do was staple down or use the brad nail gun to secure it. Alrighty friends, so lastly it just came down to sanding it down and then staining it and of course adding the handles to the drawers. And voila, she's all done. Now it's just time to style it and show you guys what it looks like. build or to put together and I enjoyed the process so if you go ahead and try this yourself as always please send me pictures via Instagram or just send them to me via email I love to see whenever you recreate any of the DIYs some of you have sent me videos and pictures and just shown me how you've used them and that makes me really happy because I know that the videos I'm making some people are actually using them or putting them to good use. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're not subscribed, please do so. It helps out my little channel. And I also hope that you follow me over on Instagram. But thank you and have a good day. I will see you in the next one. See ya. I just want to... I just want to stop. Thank you.